Okay, here we go to challenge 7 of OWASP academics. So in challenge 7, as you can see here guys, is we're going to have access to, uh, or we're going to have access as administrator to uh, computer science and to the communication department in a university in order to change um, grades for some students. So for this challenge, we need either to obtain the password of the admin or we need to have admin access for this. So basically, the uh, plot line here is telling us that a, a student is trying to change his, his or her grades, and the network administrator is asking for 3,000 euros, which is considered as both expensive and at the same time as administrative authority abuse. So we're gonna try to have admin access okay to change the students grades so let's to navigate to the website okay so here if you look at the source page, the page source here we see some um, scripts here and the main action in the field box is as you can see here it's input type text so in this box here we need not to enter a password we need to enter some text which means i mean the username or the student which is trying which uh, we're trying to have access to his or her grades so basically nothing here to input as a password okay so here uh, the idea of sql injection the idea of um, looking in the source page uh, inspecting the elements, brute forcing, um, doesn't give any uh, valuable lead to this. So we're gonna try to directory traversal the website here. So we're gonna turn the interceptor here. Okay, I'm gonna refresh the page. Okay. So here I'm gonna like intercept uh, sorry I'm gonna send the web page to the spider here I'm gonna forward forward okay let me just okay so here I got the, the targeted web page here as you can see so I have the main directory which is ch007 and I have some directories here as you can see we have index.php and we have index underscore files. If we tick the arrow here, we can see uh, multiple files here. The file we are interested in is, as you can see here, last login.txt. Okay. So we're going to, I mean, navigate to this or as you can see in the response page here of last login to text, we got last login user is iron pretty iron. So let's try to use iron as the student which we are interested in getting the grades for her. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, let me copy this. Okay, enter. Okay, so here I have the page which lists the grades of islands. So I'm gonna need to change those failing grades into A's. So in order to do that, we, 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 we now are having access as a user or our level of access is user access. So in this case, we might be thinking about exploiting or changing or manipulating the cookie that's used so if I, if I go back to here intercept is on refreshing the page see okay so here the cookie is username is ireland and user level is user so we got two options here if we type root and forward 
here root okay so let's refresh again I'm gonna click okay let's try admin instead of root forward oh forward okay so here I got as you can see it's saying congratulations because we got an admin access to the website and wow now in a reward scenarios as it's reward scenarios we can change the grades of the intended students to A's as you can see here so this is all about spidering direct traversal and cookie manipulation so basically guys here um, a proper or appropriate protection for this or appropriate prevention from directory traversal and cookie manipulation is settings um, authentication or authorization for accessing some sensitive directories or files so the file here as you can see last look in the text is a sensitive file okay and it's a very bad idea to include this file in an accessible area to normal users so we need to get this file either out of this area or we need to store the, user, the, the information in uh, an encrypted database or we need at least to set authoritative or authorization to access these files okay 